Uganda's ambassadors to China, France, the United Arab Emirates, and Tanzania, accompanied by dignitaries from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, have visited the Albertine Graben and commended the progress of all oil and gas projects in the region. The four-day oversight tour started at the Uganda Petroleum Institute in Chigumba, where they witnessed Uganda's efforts in empowering local content in the technical fields of oil and gas. We have come a long way in bridging the gaps that were existent and ensuring that the, 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 the competencies, the qualifications uh, that we are delivering here meet the needs of the industry. And that's the same reason we have attracted now partners like Total Energies to train their production technicians here. They then visited the Kingfisher Development Project, which is overseen by Sinoc. A Chinese government corporation. There is a lot. There is a lot inside here. <laughs> China tells us that 30, 40 years ago, they were like we are. So they understand our dilemmas, our challenges, and they are ready and willing to partner with us in a win win situation. This visit intended to enrich their understanding of various pertinent issues concerning the sector as they witness the progress so far taken. We are looking at GDP growth, we are looking at the income generated, and with all aspects of environmental diversity taken care of, we know a lot has been going on in the community, in the society, both within the nation and also outside in the world. But here we are hands-on to see exactly what is being implemented. The ambassadors were marveled at the progress at various sites in the region. Kabalega Airport, an industrial park projected to be at 15 months away from completion, will support transportation of lightweight equipment for the sector, but also complement industrial, air transport and tourism initiatives of Uganda. And for the first, say, five years, the government is looking at the transportation of equipment. Maybe after that, that's when it will turn the attention, maybe to passenger flights and the rest. Key among the concerns of the delegates was job creation and economic empowerment of Ugandans. As we were coming in the bus, we were told that uh, at the onset, 1,000 people were employed here. Now it has come down to 200, but again it will go up when the refinery starts and other things. Mm. And uh, Uganda is a country that has a young population, so uh, it's the reason why you see apparently in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, it has become central to promote economic and commercial diplomacy, to attract in investments, to promote exports, to promote tourism, to create job opportunities. So it's a very important project. The third day of the trip saw the travelers move to Bulisa district specifically to Tilenga Project Industrial Area by Total, which is the largest oil project area. Amidst anticipation, all stakeholders in the Albertine Graben confirmed that commercial oil in Uganda will start coming out between June 2025 and November. By the fourth day, the delegates had an all-round overview of the various initiatives Uganda is taking, challenges and time frames, where they spotted some opportunities to leverage in their offices as they serve the country abroad. Wadulo Makanold, UBC News, in the Albertine Graben.